Uh, what is a mixture model? And uh, consider a mixture model with capital K components. Then we can write its PDF as following. Here, x is a random variable. So the PDF of a mixture model uh, is a weighted summation of k PDFs, where the weights are pi k's. It is a number between 0 and 1. If we sum them together, it's equal to 1. And each of the individual f sub k is a probability density function with a, a particular parameter um, denoted by theta sub k. For example, um, you can take a look of the description of our coding assignment 1. And you can pause the video and, and read through this uh, description. Remember, uh, in coding assignment 1, we generate data from two groups. You can view them as um, blue colored data colored in blue versus data colored in red. And the corresponding label of Y is equal to 0 or 1. But for each um, category, so for all the, for example, red points, they are generated from a mixture of normal with 10 components. So you can see the density function is written in this way, where the pi k is basically um, 1 over 10 because they are equally, um, the weights are the same. And then each individual f sub k is a, a Gaussian distribution with uh, a different mean parameter and um, they happen to have the same variance. So how to generate data from a mixture model? Let's recall how we generate data for our coding assignment one, how we generate data for this mixture of normal. Consider the following data generating process where you generate uh, 10 observations, one from each of the normal components, and then you average them because the weight is one over 10 here. And of course, this is a run data generating process. Uh, remember for mixture model, uh, every observation is from one and only uh, one component. So uh, for a mixture model like this, you can consider the generating process as the following. You uh, first gonna generate uh, a label Z, which is uh, which takes value from one to capital K. Um, it is from a discrete distribution with probability Z equal to little k to be pi k. So, uh, in other words, we first decide uh, which, for every observation, which component you are from. And then conditioning on your z equal to this particular value, lowercase k, then you generate your x from this particular case component.